a bumpy old track. Morning, wind willowers. Uh, Saturday morning. Beautiful morning. Just come down to the boat. We're going to uh, finish scraping the floor down today and then get the back tan down. Uh, I think that's probably all we'll be able to do today, to be honest, because the back tan's going to take 24 hours to dry, so uh, I'll let you have a look around. What a beautiful morning it is. Lovely. So I've got my mahoosive scraper and I'm going to start scraping all these floors down all around the edge. Obviously ground them out last time I was here. Um, but these places where the, the wire brush on the grinder just can't get. So I'm going to scrape it out with this and then uh, going to give it a big hoover up. Once it's hoovered up then we should start, be able to start applying the back tan. So. That's scraped down. Next, we need to get the Uber out. Um, it's coffee time first. Let's have a coffee and we'll carry on.
No, it's that's all hoovered out now. Let me just take the other and show you what we've got to work with. I'm going to show you the other day, but there was dust all over them and they were sort of disguising what they actually look like. Like I say, they're not too bad, it's really solid. There's a bit of flake on there, but nothing major. Now we start back tanning. Yeah. So finally, after all the talk, it's vectan time. Vectan, vectan, vectan. Um, not cheap stuff. This was like near on eighty quid for this, five liters of. So, but like I say, finally we get to start doing it. So let's get it done. I'm going to miss the next one.
So it's a case of just slapping it on. There's nothing uh, there's nothing too specialist about it. Just a case of giving it a reasonable good coat. And once this is dry, it will turn black. And it's a rust inhibitor, so it breaks down the rust and kills it off and makes it something solid, so it's paintable. It also prevents the rust from coming back again. The worst bit about it is these bits under here is making sure that you've got the bits that the eye don't see. And like I say, it's not pretty. It is just slap it in. Make sure you get it all in these corners. The corners are where the water's going to sit the most, and that's where it will rust your boat out. Right, I'm doing this big angle as well that's on the, that's making up the ribs. Uh, it'll be 100 years before these rot through, but the thing is, the water will roll down with the rusting onto there, and it will just start rusting again, so might as well do them. Give the boat the most amount of protection that we can. Give it that longevity. Let's be honest, I don't want to do this again. Just making sure you've got the little like, pin holes where the rust has been. They're not deep, but you just have to make sure that you work the back toe into all these pin holes. So it seals it properly. Next thing, you might as well take your time with this bit. Because as I said, I don't want to do it again. Once is enough. And you might as well take your time, do the job properly. So that's the back tan on this first section done. See if it starts to dry out, look. It takes 24 hours to dry so I'm going to disappear now um, it's Saturday at the minute I think I'm probably going to leave it and come back Monday um, and then when I come back we can put some paint on it and let that dry and we'll get the floor down I'm sure you'll agree looks a lot better like I say this will all be black when it's dry so I shall uh, Get some footage of it when I come back down Monday. So 
So the vac tunnel's down. It's all dried out. So I was going to undercoat it, but I've been looking, and apparently the vac tunnel acts as an undercoat. So. I'm just going to continue today now and get some paint on these sections. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. It sealed it well. So, yep. Let's go for some paint. With this stuff, it's a case of just blob it on, but then when it's on, you need to comb it a few times like a gloss to get it to push into all the areas that you want covering. It's very sticky, but when it dries, it does dry like a silicon. So any water that gets in here, theoretically, should just sit on the top and it won't seep through. So it'll just roll straight to the back. So this is it just as I've started. So got that bit to do yet obviously. Just showing you how we're getting on. It's gonna take some time but hey, that's doing a boat up. Everything takes time. So crack on. See you on the other side. This it's not the easiest stuff to paint. But I'm hoping that's going to be That's going to make it better for durability. You know what I mean. Quite not the easiest stuff, but it might be better than just a thin paint. Hopefully, this should have more durable, It'll be more durable, and stop it rotting. make a nice seal for the water to sit on rather than soaking in. It seals all these edges up as well. There are bits of box section they, they cut out at an angle so it has got uh, a track down both sides where the water can run if it does let any water in to go to the back.
Chico. Right, uh, that's the, uh, the paint down on the first, it's just over the first quarter. Um, so, just got to let that dry now. You can see. Looks a lot better though. Nice grey floor. Oh, that should be better. Like I say, it will seal the water, stop the water getting into the bottom. So I'm going to come away from the boat for a few days now, because I've got to let this dry out good and proper. So, um, after a few days, come back, get the ballast in this section, get as much flooring down as what I can, and then make. So I'm trying to shut these doors. I'm still on my phone now. So, right, um, yeah, get this floor down. Get all that stuff from that end to this end, so we can carry on up the boat. And then that should be the floors done. And then afterwards there'll be something a bit more interesting. Hopefully, once the floors are done. So bear with us because we're getting there. See you next time.